Okay folks, this is going to be a scientific test to determine how many watt hours does it take to cook that piece of bread in that oven. This is one of my mini DIY 12 volt portable ovens. You can find a link in the description if you want more information about that. It will also take a certain amount of watt hours to preheat this oven. So I will also calculate how many watt hours it takes to get this oven up to baking temperature. However, once it's up to baking temperature, you can repeatedly put food in here and cook it. So really the two measurements need to be separate. Then I will cook this bread, or bake it rather, and I will calculate how many watt hours are required to do that. I will use a standard DC watt meter to make the calculations. Okay, first let's start with the preheat. I will use some oven thermometers so that I can see what the temperature is. Let's go ahead and put those in there. Good. That way I can see what the oven is reaching. Just for reference, it's a bit warm in my shop here. It's 83 degrees. Okay, let's power up the oven and start the process of preheating it to see what it takes to heat this oven up and get it to baking temperature. Okay, we're drawing about 146 watts, 10.8 amps, 13.4 volts. The numbers are moving around a little bit. But you can see already that the watt hours are counting up. And now it's just a matter of waiting to see how many watt hours does it take, and or amp hours, to get this oven up to an operating temperature. At around 15.1 watt hours, this mini 12 volt oven is starting to get near baking temperatures. So I'm just going to go ahead and consider this oven preheated. Okay, now that the oven is preheated, I'm going to reset it by removing the power source temporarily. This will reset the watt meter and zero it out. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Disconnect the oven, reconnect the watt meter. It's all zeroed out. Now I'm going to reconnect the oven. That's because I only want to measure the baking watt hours, not the preheat. I want to keep those two separate. So I've just zeroed out the watt meter in order to accomplish that. Now it's time to put the bread in the oven. Hopefully I can do that without burning myself again. Okay, the bread is in the oven. Let's go ahead and start the test. Okay, it's currently 3.486 amp hour and 45.8 watt hours. I'm going to go ahead and take the bread out. I think it's done. Yeah, it's done. It's possible to cook meat, vegetables, or even a larger piece of bread in this oven if you're careful. That takes about 12% more watt hours to accomplish. We can see that this cooking test consumed about 45.8 watt hours from the battery, not including preheat, or about 3.486 amp hours. The Red Odeo 50 amp hour battery has about 600 watt hours of storage. So in theory, once preheated, this oven could cook 13 pieces of bread. I'm working on several new ovens that are more efficient and use less power. But from this test, you can get an idea of how much power it actually takes to cook with small, cheap, lightweight, and portable 12 volt appliances. I believe that small 12 volt cooking appliances should be an integral part of any preparedness and survival plan. There is a discount code in the description if you would like to buy a Red Odeo battery. Note, I don't accept commissions for sales. Thanks for watching and hope to see you next time.